there guys welcome back to the channel I got a question for you guys a serious question this is this is a serious question are you guys actually wanting to make money or are you one of these people that expect a handout and expect everything to be done easily for you without putting in work I'm, I'm dead serious like I'm gonna give you a minute comment down in the comment section Also got to be strong in this industry as in any other industry in the Facebook groups and on some of these channels there there's so much talk about again when you talk about rates this this is what this is all about people talk about what rates you should get what rates they are getting uh, who's screwing who over I've said it over and over and over that this industry is a cutthroat industry. It's not to say there aren't any good people in it. There are plenty of good people. And that, and there, there's where the problem is, is trying to get yourself aligned with the people that take pride in what they're doing and are trying to provide the correct type of service at the correct type of rate. So, uh, with that being said, <clears throat> there's so much shit there's just a big cloud of shit out there. Uh, and my problem is that you get people that are new or people that are looking to get in the industry. And the the two dogs you're going to hear barking the loudest are the haters and the failures. Those are going to be the two loudest barking dogs. With all these people that are barking about their rates, they're bitching that you shouldn't be taking a certain rate. Because, that, that again, the two loudest dogs, failures and haters. And the haters are going to attack people constantly on what rate they're making. And, and they'll occasionally shout out that they're making X amount of money. Okay? Uh, then you've got the, the uh, failures who are saying you should make X amount of money but they're not coming at you in an attacking way they're doing they're saying that in a basically bitching way like oh my god I should be getting this you know oh my god we should be getting that oh my god but yet and here's where what I ask do you want to work to make that money they don't want to put in the work that's required to make the money and sometimes Trying to concentrate on rates only will keep you from succeeding or keep you from generating as much money as you may ch as you may want to. Uh, in this in this industry, again, I industry wide, drivers don't get paid what they should. And I'm not talking about just expedite. I'm talking about expedited courier, uh, semis, flatbeds, all of them, hot shotters. We do not get paid what we're worth. All right. Now, with that being said, you have a few choices in there. One, just don't get into the industry. Two, try to make the industry work as best you can for you. If you if you like that industry, you like the type of work, and you feel that the money, you know, you 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 are capable of getting to the point that that money is what it should be, and you're able to make what you have available to you at the moment work. I've said it before. I started off driving for a fleet owner. Okay, so I understood that in order for me to make more money, I need to own my own van. I need that fleet owner out of my way. Then I started running for a carrier. So I was running for a carrier for a while, and it was like, okay, I kept my eye out for a better carrier to run for, and that's what I eventually did. But in the meantime, I made what I was working with work for me. I was able to purchase another van at that time. And then I got to then when I found a better situation, I put my I got myself into that uh, better situation, and again, eventually end up to where I have my own authority and I'm my own motor carrier. I'm trying to make the industry work for me to get out of it what I'm hoping to get out of it. Now, you have you have several people that just want to consistently fight it. They're just consistently fighting and bitching about it, and I don't get it. <clears throat> like one of the common bitches you hear 
is oh the broker or the carrier they're they're ripping you off they're taking they're taking too much of your money we're out here doing all the work and well we deserve the money if you deserve the money okay if you deserve that money get your ass out there get your own authority get a broker's license and get that fucking customer don't sit and bitch that you can't get more money out of them when you're working with them you you are choosing to work with that broker or carrier or whoever it is if you don't like it go somewhere else and find a better situation don't sit and bitch about it and then talk about how everybody else is a piece of shit for doing what they're doing to survive or to make their money just because you can't figure out how to make it work for you don't don't hate on people and don't cry like get your situation better and when you do get your situation better because this is another thing I have a problem with. You have people that claim to make X amount of money. Okay? I know that there's people out there making better rates than me. And you know what? I wish I knew how they're doing it. Because with with what I have at my disposal, I'm doing the best I can with it. I shouldn't say the best I can, but I'm making it work. And I'm, and I'm slowly doing things to improve and get more out of it. But when it comes to rates... The rates are what they are with where I'm at. Now I'm just trying to find better ways as far as like get more vans and eventually try to get direct customers, things like that. But these people that claim they're making, you know, two dollars a mile and a dollar fifty a mile take nothing less than a dollar fifty, I see. Okay? Those same people that are telling you that, they will not tell you how they did it. They will not tell you what company they're with. And that's bullshit. Like that's what pisses me off. Because I feel on this channel, on my channel, and the information I've shared over the years, I've been completely transparent. I, I want to say I've been 98% transparent. There are a couple of little keys that I've kept to myself because it, it could affect, that could be affected negatively if I put it out there. But as far as like the carriers I work with, the rates I'm getting, the money I'm spending, the money I'm making, I've been completely transparent. And I have no problem trying to help people get down and, and go the same path that I did if you're choosing to get out of it what I'm getting out of it and do what I'm doing. But these others, they won't. Like, like there's two of them recently that did that, that one in particular for a while now, this channel. And you know, I've done I did this video once before, just a couple of days ago, but I don't wanna I'm not gonna use that footage. Okay, and in that one, I wasn't going to mention his channel. And the reason I don't want to mention his channel, because I just don't want to bring traffic to his channel. I don't, I don't like that he has, I don't like the overall information that he's giving. But I'm going to head, go ahead and mention the channel. I don't care, like, like the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? If any of you guys that are watching my channel and you choose to go check out his channel and you like what he's saying better, and it, maybe it works better for you, maybe... Maybe, you know, you're just like him and you like to, I don't know, make it more difficult for yourself. So be it. I'll, I'll lead you to his channel. The channel is called Van Life Exploring America, okay? And right there is the first problem with the channel is the name. Uh, he puts in there Van Life Exploring America. But this guy, when you check out his channel, uh, let, me, let me stop right there real quick. Let me just tell you exactly what it is about he's one of them guys that constantly tries to concentrate on rate but he's not successful at expediting okay he he when he gets a good load that's happy that makes him happy then he's on his video oh see this is out here this this type of stuff is out you can do this and and be home every night like this guy's deal is about being home every night his 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 like he just did a recent video where it was like oh i did the unthinkable i slept in my van but you're an expediting channel with the channel name of van life exploring america not van don't want to be in it exploring my house like so so right off the bat you got false you know false advertisement and then he wants to as i said uh, he just did a video today where he's talking about, oh, I put in seven bids, and he's near Chicago, obviously, and he's like, oh, I won't go to Chicago. I'm not, hey, hey, unless they pay me really, really good, I'm not going. Man, Chicago's the main hub. Right there, that's how, that's how, I don't want to, I don't want to be too derogatory in what I'm saying about the person, because I don't know him personally. It's just that I don't, I don't align with the same 
you know, ideals that he has, and it frustrates me because it's very, very misleading to people that are trying to learn this industry and get into this industry. Like, Chicago's the main hub. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Makes absolutely no sense that you are not willing to go into Chicago at a, at a and he's wanting to go above and beyond on the rate. Now, I get the fact that you want to you want to hire a rate for places you don't like to go to. I, I get that. Like a New York City or you're going out to the Northwest, places like that where freight's scarce and, and whatnot. But this is the main freaking hub, man. And you're and you're pricing yourself out of it and outright, you know, turning down loads. That don't like that's not advice to give to somebody that's that's trying to learn this. Like that's that's gonna make them fail. And and I do consider this guy unsuccessful in expediting. Now, if he's happy overall good for him he's happy but he's trying to he's trying to be a courier regional driver via expediting load boards and load brokers and again if he's making it work for him for what he wants that's fine but that's why i asked at the beginning of this video are you here to make money are you getting into this to make money and are you willing to put in the work because like now he may have his other ventures i don't know what his side things are I know he talks about doing DoorDash and stuff. He says he has other streams of revenue, which is a smart thing in that. But when you're having a channel that's supposed to be there to help people, you know, give people information on expediting, then again, I think you're being misleading and you're and you're setting people up for failure because he's not accentuating or even describing his other streams of income. He won't even talk about his carrier. Like here you are. I would I would I wouldn't expect any of you to watch my channel if I told you, man, I am just killing it out here. I am killing it. I'm just making all this money. I went from here to there today. I'm not even going to tell you what cities I went to. But I'm going to tell you that I did a load today, and I'm going to tell you that it paid $2 a mile. But that's all I'm telling you. I'm not going to tell you how you get yourself in the, in the position to get that money. I'm not going to tell you the company I'm with that I'm getting that money from. I'm not going to do any of that shit. So tell me what was helpful about what I told you when I told you that I make $2 a mile and I did a load today. Tell me what use that is at all. I mean, seriously, I'll wait for another moment. Comment below. Tell me how useful that was. I mean, to me, that seems absolutely pointless. Uh, and I've said it before, I watch YouTube channels of people who I don't agree with as far as how they do business, and, and I watch it because there might be something in there. They might use a, a certain strap or a certain, use a certain app or use a, you know, uh, insurance or they, there might be something in there that maybe I can get that is going to benefit me. I don't watch it just to hate because I'm not constantly commenting on his shit with derogatory stuff. There's a lot of times I want to, but I don't. I also don't like doing that negative stuff. I don't. I don't even like doing this video, trying to, you know, saying what I'm saying. It's just that it bothers me that much, because, again, like this guy in particular, when he does his videos, again, oh, he's home all the time, and he's acting. He he comes across as though that is the only way and best way to do this business, and for me, that's not the case. And that's why I take issue with it. And I think for most of you, that's not the case. I think most of you are doing this to make money, to create a, a successful and thriving business. And possibly, you know, the, the rest of it is you want to travel, you want to see the country, things like that. I don't think, you know, some of you, and I know some of you are in here and, and, and the courier or regional stuff is more your, your thing. Uh, and I would say, hey, go watch his video. He's got useful information if he did. But he's not even going to tell you who he's with to be able to do the same thing he's doing. He's had conversation with uh, Dell in messen in some messages or comments uh, where he refers to any of us over the road, long term, you know, away from home drivers as transients, and go to the Blue Beacon and get our showers. So he, you know, he sees us in a negative light. Those of us that are out here over the road, like I said, he thinks that. The way it should be done and the only way and best way to do it is he's got to be home every night, man. I don't do this acting like I'm the best. I don't do this acting like I know everything. Far from it. But I'm definitely not okay with people that are that are misleading people. That are just 
like I said, they, they want to throw numbers out, but they don't want to tell you how to get those. They don't want to tell you how to achieve those. And like him in general, that's what, and that's the other part that pisses me off about it, is like he got, he got led to the carrier he's at. Which at first, when he's getting, when he gets these good rates, he's all about it. But when he has bad days, like he like he did yesterday in the video today, like you can, he's got a little bit of complaining to do about his carry. So he's not always happy. He's just he's one of those guys that it's a day to day, depending on how his uh, how he feels about things. And uh, but it pisses me off because the subscriber is the one that led him to the carrier he's with. Like he's okay with somebody else sharing that information with him. But he won't share that shit with nobody else. And he claims it's due to a contract, which I call bullshit, because he wasn't talking about the carrier he was with when he was with Barrett. He didn't start mentioning Barrett until he wasn't with Barrett no more. And I know 100% that Barrett doesn't have it in their contract. And I just don't, I find it hard to believe that any company is not going to be willing to take free advertisement, free positive advertisement. And most of the time, he seems like he's happy with these guys. So that's positive advertisement. Why wouldn't he want to mention? Why wouldn't the company want him to mention them? The reason people don't want to share information like that is because they're afraid of competition. I shouldn't say they're afraid of the competition. They're afraid that that company may bring on more vehicles, more owner ops, and then that will negatively affect his ability to earn. That's because, I mean, I've had that feeling at times. Don't get me wrong. I've had that feeling at times. I've never not told people who I drive for. I mean, when I was with VGS doing videos, I told people about VGS. When I was with Barrett, I told people about Barrett. I don't make it no mystery that I have my own authority in the name of the company I'm with now. So I don't I don't get it. Like, why you don't, if, you, if you're trying to help it, that should be out there. And hopefully you're understanding where I'm coming from with it. And again, like I said, some of you that disagree with the fact that I'm bringing it up or you go to his channel and check out his channel and subscribe to his channel and you like his stuff more, let me come back and let me know you liked it more and tell me what you like more about it. I mean, I, I, I'm willing to learn. As I said, I'm willing to take criticism to help improve what I'm, what I'm relaying to you guys and in the way I'm doing it. Uh, I'm just a I'm just a normal guy out here working, making a living, putting a freaking GoPro on, and giving you know talking to a GoPro. So uh, I, I'm all for criticism. Uh, you can be easily misled because, as I said, the two loudest dogs are the haters and the failures. And if you, I've seen it too many times on the Facebook groups, especially. People are barking that they can do all this. People get with them, then they don't get paid, or or they get stranded somewhere, or they're being dictated to what they should do, or they're not getting paid correctly. There's so many bad things. So don't don't fall for that shit, man. Don't fall for that bullshit that people are claiming all this all this great shit because this is a cutthroat industry, man. Get references, get as much information on these people that you're going to work with as you can, and. Oh, oh, last point, last point. Actually, it was last point. I, I kind of touched on it a little bit, but like when you, when people are bitching about the carrier or the broker, as I said, go get your own shit. Like, what are they worth? What? Like, I, I I've never heard any driver that bitches about a broker or a carrier. I've never heard them say what they think they're worth. Because all you hear is, "Oh, we're out here incurring all the expense and and doing all the work." Well, you can't do that work without them getting you a load. So what are they worth? And again, that's not to say that you shouldn't find your best situation where you are receiving the most amount of that money that's paid to that load. I'm not saying anything to the contrary. Okay? I'm just simply saying when you're bitching about those things, you know, what do you what do you think they should make? And then again, if you're bitching about brokers and stuff getting all the money and and you have a YouTube channel, Tell people how they can get around that. Tell them how they can improve that situation. Because unfortunately, like the only thing that could change this industry, like drastically change it, is a strike. That's not going to happen. Drivers are not going to stick together. Everybody's got their own personal situation. There's a, it's, just, it's just not going to happen out here, man. So with that being said, how do you make this work for you? You know, it's just, that that's what it comes down to. And that's, again, where it comes back to, I asked, are you willing to work? And are you trying to make money? If so, like, I'll tell you, like, I've, I've said in these videos how to do these things. I, I try to tell people how to be efficient with their time on the run so they can get more runs. You know, how to, as far as, like, try to, try to uh, uh, 
like certain the carriers I've been with, how much I'm getting paid, just to just to give everybody the number so that they can kind of so they can do the research prior to getting out here. You can you can do the math and figure out if this is something that is workable or doable for you. Just I don't know, man. It's just it's frustrating. It's just frustrating, man, to have that happen. And again, it's 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 on Facebook all the time. Like it's so hard to not comment on these guys all the time on Facebook. There was another guy I heard, and this through another another driver. Uh, you know that there's a guy that does videos about you know he's a courier channel and he does videos about apps all the time and this this driver spoke to him personally and the dude doesn't even use the apps that he's that he's advertising he's you he's making his money the majority of his money on something else completely different and yet he's trying to sell you on all these other things just you know again just trying to get views and attention and and shit like that so just be careful, guys. Be careful, man. The but, but the Facebook groups, if you're on them, be careful sifting through there. So many people offering to dispatch you, and and so many people claiming they're making all this money. You know they're gonna they're gonna get you all this money and all these miles and stuff. So just be careful. All right, rant over. Also, gotta be strong in this industry, as in any other industry.